Hello everyone, this is Ankur Gupta and in this video I will be telling about how to set up a mail account subscription with your scheduled reports in Jasper server. For demonstration basis I will be using Jasper server 5.6.0 the version and I am using a Mac machine for this particular demonstration. There is not much of a difference in file folder structure. I will just point it out where you need to take care if you are using a Windows machine. So to move on, uh, for example, I would like to just brief you about what basically this uh, mail subscription does. Suppose you have a you have a scheduled uh, report which needs to be run on a daily basis and needs to be circulated to say about 100 people so instead of they logging into Jasper server or many of might not have the credentials to log into Jasper server so in just order to circulate the data from the server to other users you can simply schedule the job along with the mail subscription which suppose a report runs on to a daily basis it will send a daily status report or a report to the all the users and it will be on mail so in a in a readable format suppose a pdf or csv or excel whatever which you need so these all the capabilities are already there in jasper server but they need to be like uh, set up initially because they are not already set up the ports are not uh, opened so I will just guide you which what all needs to be changed in order to work with the uh, with the server and the subscription now I will directly move on to the demo itself in Jasper server and uh, I will be using a text editor to edit two of the files which will be found in the location as first of all you need to uh, locate your uh, installation folder that is see I have Jasper's report server CP 5.6.0 I'm using a community edition so this is the structure of my folder which you see now you need to navigate to Apache Tomcat then further to web apps then to jasper server then web inf and here you need to find out two files which need to be modified one is a property file it is js.quads.properties and other is application context scheduling services uh, it's right here okay this is application context report scheduling we need to modify these now after you locate these ensure that you have shut down your server as it might give you some right problems or something but uh, it is always advised to like shut down your server and do then do the changes and then move on so now the J first of all i will deal with js quotes or properties now we simply go to this server and we need to modify the stuff which is written at the end now there is a scheduler web deployment it would already be filled as localhost 8086 whatever might be your port then I, I initially said that I will be using a gmail uh, protocol setup so I mentioned the host at smtp.gmail.com now this could be your any other SMTP provider like uh, could be uh, SendGrid or whatever you might find Yahoo Mail or whatnot. So this is my username. I could just give it as in Panda as a given. The password for that thing and the user, the domain, the mail ID which needs to be given Panda at the rate gmail.com. 
protocol will be SMTP and the port for this particular uh, Gmail setup is 587 it might differ if you are you choosing any other setup thing so that might vary just do this and save this particular application this particular property file then you need to go to into application context report scheduling now here you need to find out the bean report scheduler mail sender and in this you will find a property called java mail properties and this initially would be false i turned it to true you need to do the same so mail.smtp.auth will be turned true so the authorization to the smtp is provided and if you are using a startls star tls kind of a encryption so that also you can do true and several other properties you could see whatever uh, kind of subscription you are taking as in the mail thing now you just save this and you can now run the jasper server and now I'll move on to Jasper server. So this is my Jasper server and I have supposed few reports and I'm supposed scheduling this report right now. I'm running it right now. This is a file name. So as you could see there are as I've selected as a run now thing we can't schedule it for thing because it's, it will write run right now so now you could directly publish onto the FTP server or an FTPS you could simply directly enable things right here and export it from here what needs to be taken care of is you have to check overwrite files because if you haven't checked overwrite files next time it produces it will produce an error so and whichever format you require like excel or the doc or whatnot you could just select in and if the report got parameters suppose i have adobe as a company and ahmedabad as a city you could give in right here and output settings that we have seen already and then we come to the notification panel now here we could give the email notification to all the subscriptions suppose xyz at the rate gmail.com or pqr at the rate gmail.com and you could just go on adding people here you could do a ccc or a bcc whatever you could give a subject message and you could include the report files because as I said everybody might not have the repository link as in Jasper server authentication but you might need to circulate things so that could work accordingly so I will suggest to you to include the report itself so that it will attach the PDF file as an attachment or the CSV or an Excel file as an attachment now this section is for the administrator now what he needs to do it suppose I am scheduling the report I will give my mail id over here and then I will give some subjects suppose a status and if a success success is found in the in the particular job it will say success or whatever message you want failure oops so, or whatever you want then again you can include the job report information and the stack trace would be if in case of error or or rather it will say a success message will come along with a success a stack trace and so on you could easily do that things so that's it for the demo so if you like my video you can follow me on twitter or you could even find me on facebook or you could add me in your linkedin network and for other queries for Jasper reports or something, I have a blog which is completely based on Jasper reports. So you could simply log into www.ankudthetechie.blogspot.in or you could G plus me.